Okay, so suppose I want to graph y equals 3 sine 2 theta minus 1. I'm going to start with this minus 1, and that tells me where the midline is. So at negative 1, I'm going to draw the midline. This 3 tells me the amplitude. So I know from this negative 1, I go up 3 and down 3. So up 3, 1, 2, 3, that's the top. And down 3, 1, 2, 3, that's the bottom. And it's this sort of band of space that the function is drawn in. It's a sine function, so I know I'm going to start in the middle. There's no horizontal shifting, so I know the sine function is going to start right here at the midline, right there. And I know I have to go up 3 and down 3 from there. So I just go up 3, down 3, and back up like that. Now the question for the period is I have 2 pi here, sorry, 2 theta. So normally it's 360. But because it's a 2, it means I have to have two cycles in 360, so I have to have one cycle in 180. So I know the function, when it comes back up and it hits here, where it starts, there to there, that has to be 180 degrees. As well, don't forget, we can get the period by doing our 360 divided by k, which is 2. Okay, so 360 divided by 2, which is also 180. So when we go to mark this thing, we'll see, okay, it's starting the right spot, the right peak, the right trough, the right midline. It's the right function. It's a sine function, and the period is correct. And that's it.